This is David, WA9LNY. This is the Raspberry Pi 4. I'm going to install Octave on it. Go to Preferences, Add Remove Software here. Search for O C T A V E. Enter. Octave does mathematical analysis and it has support for digital signal processing. Okay, here we go, GNU. There is a whole list of additional packages. Octave has a basic core and then you add things to it so it's easily extendable. So let's go and we're gonna select that for our install. Let's visit the website. This is 4.4.1. Here's our website for Octave. Here's a 3D graph. Oh, unfortunately, the current version is 5.1, 4.4. We're a major release behind in the repository. That's typical with the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi is still a 32-bit operating system in Raspbian, and it has an ARM core, so uh, it presents some uh, challenges in its repository and being up-to-date. So let's go ahead and close the website here for Octave. Uh, we can also look at the required packages. There's a whole list here. Again, the package manager in the install process will take care of our dependencies. And we'll go ahead and take a look at dependent packages. GNU Octave has cat uh, compatibility with MATLAB, which is a major um, commercial and expensive software. Oh, well, here is, yeah, MATLAB. Uh, so it fundamentally is compatible MATLAB. Uh, let's say scripts will run in Octave. So let's go ahead and close this. Let's get the install process going. Hit the apply here. Oh, by the way, here's a short description of Octave at the bottom. It's going to ask me for my password. Hit enter. It's not too big of a package, 1.9 megabytes. So we'll use Octave to run some experiments with uh, software-defined radio and digital signal processing. The neat thing is that uh, it's compatible with MATLAB is that we'll be able to find uh, university labs that are based on students using the educational MATLAB and uh, those scripts we might be able to use with Octave to duplicate some of their experiments. I would expect that not all of the um, MATLAB commercial software is, uh, let's say, available in Octave, but Octave should give us a good head start on uh, understanding digital signal processing and also doing some SDR experiments. Okay, looks like we're about wrapping things up. As soon as the install ends, I always do a reboot after an install or an uninstall. Let's see if anything else was installed. Yeah, there's another check mark up here. Uh, minimal set of socks. Uh, 
format libraries. There's two more. So all these other check marks are taking care of the package manager who knows about dependencies and what should be installed. Okay, with that, we're going to hit OK. I'm going to bring up the shutdown. And we'll do a reboot. We're back from the reboot. Let's go up and start Octave. It's going to be under our educational. Give new Octave. When you first started, it will ask you some information to do some setup and configuration. Since this is not the first time I've started here on the Raspberry Pi 4, uh, you'll, you'll see those startup screens and follow the instructions. I have noticed that uh, Octave here on the Raspberry Pi 4 has some bugs. As you can see, the uh, menus are screwed up here in the graphics. I find that uh, on the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, Octave is 4.0, I think. And it runs uh, quite nicely there. So it might be that I might be using Octave on the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus instead of here on the Raspberry Pi 4. We're still waiting for it to come up. Eventually we'll see uh, some text up here and we'll see a prompt. And when the prompt we can enter commands. And this is taking an extremely long time now. There we see the prompts. So we can say x equals 1 enter still not alive. Okay, <laughs> as you can see, it was busy. Let's say y equals 2. And then we say x plus y answer 3. So whatever it is, I can't really recommend Octave on the Raspberry Pi 4 right now. We'll go ahead and exit. Turn. That was disappointing to see GNU Octave on the Raspberry Pi 4. So I'm back here on the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. We're going to go ahead and launch GNU here. It's an older version of GNU. We'll start it up. Okay, you know, so we're ready to go. Let's go to uh, Wikipedia. Wikipedia here, we can see, there's the page in Wikipedia about MATLAB. And here's some code highlighted. We'll just go ahead and copy that. We'll go back here and uh, we'll paste it. And now our Raspberry Pi 3 is working real hard and producing a 3D plot. Hey, there we go. We got the X and the Y axis. We're missing the Z because I didn't put a character turn here. Didn't complete it all, so I hit a return here. And there we go. Got that. So, if I you do things on the GNU Octave, I'll be using this older version, 4.03, running on a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. To exit, 
E X I T, and I close those octaves. This is David W A nine O N Y seventy three in Q R T.